in front of the ladder, you have the fuel filter and the fuel tap. So here, when you are having a look at your machine, if you see any water in the, in the bottom of the fuel trap, please drain it. Sometimes, if you see the fuel is slightly opaque, this might mean you've got water dissolved within the fuel. This is the biofuel content that is, does dissolve a little bit of water. So if you do have that, please drain it out and make sure. If you are doing your own maintenance, please make sure that you use the correct filters for the machine. And please, a good idea to always do is change one filter, prime the system, run it, before you change the next filter. If you change all of the filters simultaneously, you could end up with um, very flat batteries as it is very difficult to get them all bled up at the same time. When you have finished changing the filter or priming the system, please make sure the plunger is in the stowed position so it's screwed down, and this one is screwed down correctly. This goes for the whole machine as you go round it. Do keep an eye out for any bushes or bearings that are worn and or broken, especially where it comes to the sieves, shaker shoe, etc. Please make sure that those bearings and bushes are in good condition. Going up from that, we have the moisture meter. This one, it's always a good idea if you are in dirty crops to clean the spade out on the inside. So remove the two nuts. Remove it, be very careful when you remove it. There is a little strap on the side, a little earth strap. Just make sure you don't pull too hard because that's very delicate. And then the ski or fane inside, please wipe that off. And it's, always, it's also a good way of finding out whether your moisture is actually working is by putting a damp rag on it and then seeing if there's a moisture change in, on the seed screen. No solvents of any sort must be used on it as it is a plastic, so it's only water to clean it off. Do keep an eye on the chain at the top of the clean grain elevator that drives the bubble up auger. This is tensioned automatically, but there is in the Ops manual is a setting for that. The grain quality camera at the top of the clean grain elevator, there's no real need to take it off unless the lens has become dirty. And the same again with this one, if you take it off, please make sure no solvents are used and it's just a wipe clean and then refit. But make sure it is refitted correctly, otherwise it won't get the correct picture. There is no magic eye or anything in the clean grain elevator like we've had in the past. It is only the grain quality camera and then the yield monitor is inside the grain tank itself. Coming on further forward from that, there is the grease nipples. These grease nipple banks, there's two banks just like on the left hand side and this is, this is where you grease all the bearings on the right hand side of the machine. This includes the right hand rotor bearing as well and like I said for the left hand side, on the right hand side when you grease this bearing, you are not required to do 20 pumps or so, but certainly once a day, a couple of pumps will suffice. The returns elevator, the tensioning is the same tension as in the clean grain elevator. It's just so you can move the chain across the sprocket on the bottom. This tension is done as like in the past, it's done from the top. So do follow the ops manual as in removing, undoing some nuts, tensioning it, then clamping it back up. At the top of the returns elevator, we have the chain drive. Also make sure that this is not kept nice and clean and also do lubricate it as per the book. 